Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow lettuce in Aero Garden. This variety is called Paris Island Cos. This is a romaine variety. I have grown the same variety in the past using Aero Garden nutrients. I am growing it again, but this time I am going to use maxi grow nutrients throughout this grow cycle. I am placing 3 seeds in each pod for backup, but my plan is to grow only one plant per pod. Depending on the germination, I will thin out the seedlings and keep only one plant per pod. That's it. I will add water, but I will not add nutrition. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. This garden is all set and good to go. It's been 4 days. Germination rate is pretty good. I see at least one seedling in every pod. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding nutrients. As I said earlier, I will be using maxi grow nutrients throughout this grow cycle. I will start with 1 teaspoon of nutrients every 14 days. Once the plants get big enough, I will increase it to 1.5 teaspoons. Day 13 Lettuce is coming excellent. I have one plant per pod in four pods and two plants per pod in two pods. I am intentionally keeping it like this to show you the differences between growing one plant and growing two plants per pod. Look at these cute leaves. I can't wait to harvest it, but they are too young. It's day 18 and it is feeding time again. I already prepared the nutrient solution. Now I am pouring it into the bowl. Day 25. Lettuce is coming very nice and the leaves are getting huge. Tip of the leaves is dark green in color and they are little soft here. Going towards the base, it gets light green and it looks very crunchy. So this is perfect shape and structure of typical romaine lettuce. Lot of this lettuce is ready to harvest, but I am going to wait a little bit to see how big these leaves will grow. Day 30, plants are getting into a nice shape. Some of these plants are looking like a nice flower. This garden is getting overcrowded, so it is time to start harvesting the lettuce. I have two plants per pod on this side, so I will start harvesting from this side. Look at the letters on these plants. Since these pods have two plants in each, one of the plants is getting tall and thin, basically weak. Looks like these plants are competing with each other for nutrients and only one plant is winning the fight. I am also having difficulty harvesting the letters since the plants are super close to each other and I can't run my fingers through these plants. These are the reasons I prefer only one plant per pod. Anyways, here is the first harvest. Looks beautiful and good for two people. It's day 31 and it's time to harvest some more lettuce. Day 37 and it's time to harvest again. The leaves are coming off very easy. Gently pull the leaves sidewards. Day 42. I am harvesting lettuce frequently and it is coming back very nice. Look at the bottom of these plants. It shows how much lettuce I harvested so far. Day 67. Plants are still healthy and producing lots of lettuce. The more I harvest, the more the plants are producing. So this is all going very well. Plants are staying short and producing nice, wide, green and crispy leaves. So this is all going amazing. I am still feeding these plants with maxigro nutrients. Speaking of which, it is time to feed. I already prepared maxi nutrient solution and I will pour it into the garden. 
Looks like this journey is going to continue for a couple of months. Day 73, lettuce is unstoppable. Lots of lettuce is ready to harvest again and I am going to harvest most of it today. Here are the plants after aggressive harvesting. I got lots of harvest. It doesn't matter how aggressive I harvest, they will come back pretty fast. Day 87, lettuce has come back nice and it is getting crowded again. One thing I am recently noticing is, even though the plants are producing lots of lettuce, the growth is a little bit slow. I strongly believe it is because of the low temperatures. I moved this garden to my garage where the temperatures are at 50 degree Fahrenheit. I moved this garden to low temperatures to prevent tip burns. And also, the lettuce tastes better when grown in low temperatures. So that part is going very well, but as a consequence, the growth is a little bit slow. Plants are still very short, they are about 4 inches. As I am closely inspecting the plants, I just noticed that one plant died in this pod. This is the second plant in this pod. It is pretty weak from the beginning and it eventually gave up. Since this plant died, there must be some dead roots in the system. It is also nearly 3 months I started this garden and it is time to start over with fresh water. Altogether, I will dump the water, remove any dead roots, clean the bowl and start over with fresh water and nutrients. Before that, I will harvest most of this lettuce. As I am cleaning the garden, let me show you the root system. Looks pretty good and most roots are looking very fresh. Little bit of brown is totally normal. Looks like the water is getting very concentrated with nutrients. Good that I decided to change the water. It's day 99. Plants are still unstoppable. They are doing excellent and producing lots of healthy lettuce. The combination of Paris Island lettuce, maxi grow nutrients and aerogarden harvest is working out excellent. This journey is not going to end anytime soon. It will continue for a couple of weeks, perhaps months. So I will stop here and keep you updated in the future with rest of this journey. I truly enjoyed this experiment and am really liking the combination of letters, maxi grow and aerogarden. That is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy aerogardening.